Assignment 4.02 Choosing the Right Camera In this assignment you will learn about different camera options available and how to make the best choice about which camera to use. You will be using a camera in this course every day for the next 18 weeks. You will be shooting under many different circumstances and will need a camera that can adjust accordingly. Using a high quality digital camera will make your learning more enjoyable and it will help you develop your skills faster. Sometimes, however, you may not have a large selection of cameras to choose from or a large budget to purchase a new camera. We have carefully built the assignments in this course with that in mind. We want you to use the best camera that's available to you, even if it's a camera on your phone or your iPod. For this course, you'll need a camera that can shoot both photos and videos or access to both separate digital and video cameras. Project Instructions In this assignment, you're going to select the camera or cameras that you will use in this course and learn about the camera's capabilities. Most students already have chosen a camera that they will use for this course. It may be a camera that belongs to your family, or it may be a camera that the school will let you use. For this assignment, we want you to post a description of the camera you will be using on your Weebly blog page 4.02. Include a picture of the camera, the manufacturer and the model, and an explanation of all its capabilities. Tell us why you selected it and what you think its strengths will be. Some students might even give their camera a friendly nickname since they know it will become their new best friend over the next 18 weeks. On your blog page 4.02 of your Weebly portfolio, post the manufacturer and model name and number of your camera. Include a photo of your camera, and this can be one that you take or an image that you find on the internet somewhere. Make sure to cite the source of the photo. Also, post what the camera resolution is, which is usually measured in megapixels. Post the optical and digital zoom capabilities of the camera, as well as sensor size, that's measured in millimeters, and memory card type. Finally, include a link to the manufacturer's website description of your camera. If you gave your camera a nickname, well, let us know that too. Project Checklist Rubric On page 4.02 of the Portfolio page, include the following elements. Make sure you've included the manufacturer and model name and number of your camera. Make sure that you've included a photo of your camera. Make sure that you've cited the source of the photo, whether that came from you or someplace on the internet. Make sure that you've included the resolution. This is usually counted in megapixels. Let us know about the sensor size, the optical and digital zoom capabilities, and the memory card type. That's usually SD, CF, XD, etc. Also make sure you include a link to the manufacturer's website description of your computer. And did you give your camera a nickname? Include its name here for some brownie points. Turn in instructions. After you've completed today's work in your portfolio, click on the Add Submission button below to submit this assignment. Copy and paste the URL to your Weebly blog page for 4.02 in the submission text area. It will look something like this. After you have pasted your URL, make sure to format it with the hyperlink tool to make it clickable. After you submit the assignment, make sure and go back and click on the link just to double check and make sure that it will take me to the correct page of your portfolio. Good luck!